Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm gonna give you a short recap. So we left our home in Sweden, we flew down to Rome where we spent the day, and then we boarded the Celebrity Reflection for a 10 day cruise to the Greek islands, Malta, and ending in Barcelona. In this video we're gonna show you what we did off the ship. If you're interested in what we did on the ship, please check out our previous videos that we posted. So this was our second cruise overall, and both cruises have been with Celebrity. We actually have another cruise booked with them, that's not until next year. What do you guys think? Should we try something else? Is Celebrity the way to go? Please let us know down in the comments. So this cruise started off in Rome and then we were visiting Olympia, Athens, Mykonos, Rhodes, Santorini, Malta and ending up in Barcelona. So this cruise was during July and it was packed. I've never seen any other video with so many kids on a celebrity ship. And I think that's why we decided not to go ashore either in Olympia or Athens. We just wanted to stay on the ship, have it by ourselves, most people were off and we just wanted to enjoy it. Our next port of call was Mykonos. And we actually ended up tendering in to Mykonos, we had a walk around town. It was nice, but it was fairly overpriced for either food or souvenirs or anything. The stop after that was uh, Rhodes. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I actually stayed on the ship, but um, Carolina went off. She she took a stroll into the old parts of town and she really enjoyed it. She enjoyed the markets, the vendors, and the beautiful old architecture there. Good morning, guys. It's about 7 a.m. and we are about to go to Santorini today. Isn't this lovely? It's gonna be a perfect day. We're the only ship here until 4 p.m. Hello and welcome to Santorini. If you're not as lucky as we were, and you have a lot of other cruise ships in port when you arrive, here's a pro tip. If you uh, get into shore at the Fira, you can actually take a boat ride. It costs 35 euros and it will take you straight over to Oya. That means that you don't have to stand in line when there's a horrendous queue to the cable cars. Go straight away to Oya and you have a you can walk up there from the port. Bear in mind that it's a really really steep hill up there. Catalina ended up having to help an old lady to get up because it was it was really steep and she got really really exhausted. So, alright guys, here's my unpopular opinion. Uh, Santorini and Oya. What do I think about it, or what do we think about it? Well, I'm gonna have to be honest with you guys. It, it was okay, it was fine, uh, since we didn't have that many people there when we were there. 
But I'm telling you guys, if we if we would have gotten there and there were plenty of other cruise ships there, uh, I would have hated it. I would have hated it so much. It was warm, the streets were narrow. And walking there, I was imagining to myself, how would it be with four or five cruise ships here? Like 15, 20,000 people walking around on these streets and no. No, I wouldn't do it. I would have stayed on the ship. I wouldn't be standing for three, four hours in line to the cable car. My opinion is that it's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. Santorini was some local wine and what goes better with some local wine from Greece well you guessed it Uzo someone thought it was a bit strong but yeah, it tastes a lot of like licorice feeling rehydrated again we took off to the streets to do some more walking around we strolled down down to a bus stop to take the bus over to Fira so we could take the cable car back down to the ship. bus driver managed to get us there safely even though he was driving a old Mercedes bus that I think was predated World War II but it got the job done I'm thinking he's been driving it his whole life probably got it when it was uh, 100 years old after a warm and hot day in Santorini we headed back to the ship 
had a shower, and we ended the night at our favorite restaurant on the ship, Murano. Eat there, guys. I'm telling you, if you're ever on the reflection, do eat there. It's so goddamn good. Our next port of call was Valletta in Malta. And we stayed on the ship. We decided we're gonna stay on. It was the last day before we were heading off to Barcelona, which we're, we were gonna disembark in Barcelona. So we just wanted to soak in everything the reflection had to offer. Leaving Malta, we had this crazy idiot trying to uh, have a sh chicken race with the captain in his little rowboat. So the pilot actually had to drive over to him, and one of them ended up jumping in the water to, <laughs> to swim to give the boat a little bit more speed. So we ended the night with dinner in blue, had a cocktail at the sunset bar, and of course had a couple of martinis at the martini bar. We want to thank you guys so much for watching these videos, and please hit that like and subscribe button if you, if you feel that we're doing a good job, if you like these videos. And leave a comment down below, what do you want us to do next, is there anything you want to know more about the cruise, we have a lot of more material, do you want to know if the drinking packages are, if they are worth it, let us know, and we'll, we'll get back to you, and we'll do another video. Thank you so much for watching guys.